Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, a woman allegedly beat a homeless man and dragged him into the Tennessee River. The morning after her 21st birthday, Sierra Hicks was with a gathering of homeless people drinking alcohol under the Veterans Bridge. A witness told police Hicks repeatedly punched Jeff Vance until he was unconscious, choked him, and then held him under the water. The witness says he then pushed Hicks away, pulled Vance out of the water, and started performing CPR. Vance was taken to Erlanger Hospital. Hicks faces charges of attempted first-degree murder and will appear in court on Thursday. A man has been arrested after he got into a fight with a teenager over his baby mama. 22-year-old Keith Rawls told police he was upset with 18-year-old Brandon Anderson, who had been paying bills for his baby mama. So Rawls bought a gun and then brought it to the O'Charlies on Shalliford Road, where Anderson works. That's when a scuffle broke out and Rawls fired a shot from his handgun. Now he's been charged with attempted first-degree murder. He's being held on a $200,000 bond and will appear in court on Wednesday. Fred Fletcher has been sworn in as Chattanooga's new police chief. He took the oath of office at Memorial Auditorium Tuesday afternoon. Fletcher says he wants to turn the Chattanooga Police Department into a place where people from all over the country want to come and work. He comes to Chattanooga from Austin, Texas. He'll be earning a salary of $142,000. East Ridge has voted to ban e-cigarettes in city buildings. The city council approved the ordinance against vaping on its first reading. The ban would not apply to outdoor property, and anyone found using a vapor product will be asked to stop. If they refuse, they will be escorted outside. Several major companies are adding new jobs in the area. Alstom is planning to add 60 more jobs at its Chattanooga plant through September. Amazon is adding 100 full-time jobs at its distribution center in Bradley County. And ERMC has purchased U.S. Calvary. It plans to relocate the company's headquarters to Chattanooga and create 55 new jobs. A fugitive on Tennessee's 10 most wanted list has been captured. 47-year-old Samuel A. McCurry of Grundy County was wanted for the rape of a child. On Wednesday night, U.S. Marshals tracked him down to a home in Fordyce, Arkansas. Finally, the title sponsor for Iron Man Chattanooga has been unveiled, and it's Little Debbie. Mickey Foods will be the title sponsor for the next three years, starting with the race on September 28th. Officials have declined to say how much money was involved in the sponsorship. Despite Little Debbie's reputation as a sugary snack, CEO Mike McKee says he hopes the partnership will show the company's commitment to promoting active lifestyles. And after burning through 10,000 calories on race day, a 135-calorie Swiss cake doesn't sound that bad. Turning to weather, we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms today with a high near 81 degrees. The low tonight will be around 63. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.